All right, 615 the time this month marks a year since the grounding of the Boeing 737 Max. Now Boeing making the call after 346 people died in two crashes overseas. Christy Diaz takes us behind the headline at this year mark to explain how we got here and what happens next. Make no mistake, these planes will fly again. Aviation expert witness Kit Darby says the only question now is when. These airplanes will eventually be integrated back into the marketplace successfully. It will take a while to get them all flying and it may take a little bit longer to fill them all up. Not every airline has them. For example, Delta does not. But last month, Southwest, United, and American Airlines all pushed back their timeline, announcing they'll keep the 737 MAX grounded through the summer travel season. Every delay is just a huge financial. I mean, it's enough to affect the overall economy. It's that big. It's really big. Boeing, which ousted its CEO just before Christmas, reporting a $636 million loss over the past year. As they look to reintroduce the aircraft sometime in 2020, their biggest problem could be filling seats as the coronavirus slows travel demand. Once they're back in service, they need to fill them up. That's how you pay for them. Some of the financial losses are really you don't ever make up. An empty seat not filled is you know, you can't replace it. As for when they'll return to the skies, the FAA will have the final word. In a statement, the FAA said they're following a thorough, deliberate process to verify the aircraft meets the highest certification. But they have no set time frame for when it will be completed. And once the plane is ready, the last hurdle is public trust. When these start flying again, what is it going to take for the first American citizen or worldwide citizen to say, okay, I feel comfortable enough to hop on this airplane and travel somewhere. It's gonna be a tough sell to get the confidence back. Now, Darby says training every pilot on the updated system will also take some time and will likely bottleneck the process even more.